Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be looking at Dave and Buster stock ticker symbol PLAY and I don't normally do this but I'm actually going to be giving a bearish thesis today about this company and its stock price and where I think the stock price is going in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below for any questions you guys have. <laughs> So let's get right into this video. Um, if you guys don't know what Dave and Buster's is, it's basically a restaurant company with uh, kind of entertainment and they provide services for um, gaming and entertainment and eating food and drinks. And also they have, I'm pretty sure, a sports, uh, a sports TV screens in their stores. And there you can actually like, I don't think you can bet though, but you can just go there and watch with your friends some sports and as you can see, people have a lot of fun here. It's it's made for kids and adults. And for adults, it's more like you're going back in your youth and you're going to be having fun. Uh, I like some things about this company. I don't think this is a terrible company. Uh, I like the lighting inside. I like all these. Um, yeah, I like the lighting. Ma mainly, I like the lighting. Yeah, it's pretty nice and attractive. And um, I like the carpet as well. And there are a lot of things I like about this arcade store, okay? But about this company and how it's been affected by the COVID pandemic, uh, it was fairly priced uh, back in March, okay, $4.87. I do think that was a bit undervalued, uh, but it did have a risk of going bankrupt and companies just crashed a lot. I mean, this was a fall of almost 90% with just the COVID pandemic. And since then, it's recovered pretty, pretty good. It's recovered 516%. And... This daily chart is still climbing. I mean, it's up 4%. And I think this is a bit too much of the vaccine hype continuing into this stock. So as we can see, back before this vaccine came, it was trading at $16 as it has almost doubled since then. And I don't think this is a reason you should be buying the company just because the vaccine is out. Uh, if you look back two, three months ago, they were giving their investors a warning about them going bankrupt. And not much has changed this unless people are becoming more optimistic that the vaccine will bring back footfall in their stores. And a lot of their stores are still closed right now. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be going through their... Um, quarterly earnings for q3 and their forward outlook they're giving and why i'm so bearish in this company still so firstly i would like to point out that their average weekly cash burn was pretty high at 2.4 million dollars so that's around 10 million you you're losing per month with just operating just like that so they, they need to make sure their stores open up quickly and the footfall comes out and the COVID cases are still still climbing. So this company is still in danger of going bankrupt. Okay, so let's look at their revenues. Their revenues totaled $109 million for uh, the third quarter and um, that was compared to $299 million uh, with the year before. And uh, their store still has declined 66%. Um, that's pretty bad. I mean, if you look at quarter three, people were still kind of like going around. They weren't all trapped at home. And I don't think this is the best recovery for a restaurant. I mean, if people really cared about their brand and wanted to go and have fun after being locked out for two months in their houses, I would have expected more people to go in their stores. And this really hasn't happened with their third quarter. We'll have to see the fourth quarter and how the recovery plays out uh, in January, I believe. Um, is their fourth quarter results and it will be pretty interesting to see so they're obviously saying that they're pretty confident where the fourth quarter um, growth as a company and they, they have pointed out that there has been a resurgence in the COVID cases and uh, for the month of November these conditions resulted in sales of approximately 332 million including 69 percent decline so they're still seeing that they're kind of trying to say that the fourth quarter is going to be not as great, okay? And um, we're going to be going down really quickly. And um, I'm just going to be, okay, we're not going to look at their balance sheet too much right now. We're going to be looking at some of the price targets for this company. Or actually, before we do that, I want to get some interesting news out. 
So I don't know if you guys know what the VP of accounting and controller is. It's basically like a position in the company that looks after the company's uh, finances and their accounts basically. So th th he's like the top boss, this person. Uh, what's his name? Michael Joseph Metzinger. So this guy is basically one of the heads of finance and accounting in this company. So he basically gets the overall picture of what's happening inside this company. And he pretty much sold 117,000 worth of shares in Dave and Buster stock. Well, I know that might not be too much because the company's worth 1.4 billion, which is overvalued in my opinion right now. Um, well, the thing is that for a normal man, a person who's working for a company, 117,000 is a lot of money. And he must be thinking, oh, Dave & Buster's at $30 a share. Let me just sell it out. Well, you can't blame him for that because the stock was $4 back in March. So he is giving, he's getting 500, uh, five times this value. So back in March, that stock would have been worth 20,000 and now it's 117,000. So I think that people are gonna be taking their profits. I mean, it's a nice, price to take their profits. Okay, so now the next next thing I want to point out is that this stock was before this pandemic at pretty highs like 68, 62 and 47. And when I see the stock at $30, people are kind of getting misled and aren't seeing the full picture behind this company. Uh, this company has a lot more than the stock price. So it's kind of misleading the stock price that it's lower than what it was and still is indicating a 50% uh, upside still after $30 because it was $45. So if you buy the stock right now and it goes to 45, you're getting a 50% upside. And a lot of people are looking at other companies, let's say like Cheesecake Factory and all the other restaurants which have recovered pretty good and have come back to their pre-COVID uh, prices. I mean, okay, let's let's look at cake stock. So, cake stock, cake stock. Let's say che cheesecake factory. It was at forty dollars. So it's basically recovered to what it was before the pandemic. No problem at all. And the thing with Dave and Buster's is that people think it's in the restaurant business and everyone's gonna go and eat like they were. But Dave and Buster's is not just a restaurant company. It's more like an entertainment company and a place for people to go and hang out. Okay, so the people are getting pretty much misled in this price, and um, we're gonna be quickly, quickly, quickly looking at their revenues. So their revenues were going per year pretty much very nicely, and I, I'm pretty sure this is wrong because they they did make a loss this quarter and for the whole year. So their revenues were growing. So it is a great growth company. So in my opinion, I'm going to have a short position. I'm, I, I hope I can build a short position in Dave and Buster stock. And Dave and Buster's is kind of overvalued in my opinion right now. But obviously, I'll take that short position out in the fourth quarter results uh, somewhere this month, I believe. And uh, people are expecting for a bullish fourth quarter results. Well, obviously, some people might have some insider information and might be knowing that uh, the company is doing quite good. But if the VP of accounting and who's the controller of the company has sold the stock, he must be kind of knowing that the company's not doing as great as they would have wanted to. And they're not getting the footfall they like they wanted to have their their goals, right? So that makes me a bit cautious about the stock. I'm definitely not buying the stock at thirty dollars. It does have a pretty big risk of going bankrupt still and has a cash burn. Um, but obviously, I might be wrong in the fourth quarter results and. I might just be proved completely wrong, uh, but off my basis that the VP of accounting is selling his stake, I'm bearish on Dave and Buster's, and I just want to give a small warning for all the people who want to buy the stock for the 50% upside they're seeing right over here. Uh, that will be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section below, and like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.